In this video, we will create another histogram, this time with Gaussian noise. Open the experiment from the previous video, where we created the histogram of white noise. Now, type the following statement in the command line to change the data in the fake Y wave from random noise to Gaussian noise. Select the Analysis Histogram menu item. The dialog should still be set up correctly from the last time the graph was created. Click the radio button labeled Auto Set Bins 3.49 times Standard Deviation times N to the power 1 third. Select Bin Centered X Values checkbox. This sets the X values to represent the center of each bin. We will need this later for curve fitting. Select the Create Square Root N Wave checkbox. The curve fit will be biased if this is not taken into account. You will use this extra wave for weighting when you do the curve fit. Click the Do It button. Your graph should now look like this, where the histogram now has a Gaussian shape. Select Data, Data Browser. The Data Browser shows you the waves and variables in your experiment. You should see three waves now fake y, fake y hist, and w square root n. Fake y hist contains the output of the histogram operation and w square root n is the wave created by the histogram operation to receive the square root of n data. Close the data browser window. Click on the graph and then double click the trace to bring up the modified trace appearance dialog. Select markers from the mode pop-up menu. Then select the Open Circle Marker. Click the Error Bars checkbox. This opens the Error Bars dialog. Select Plus or Minus Wave from the Y Error Bars menu. Pop up the Y Plus menu and select W Square Root N. Note that W Square Root N is also selected in the Y Minus menu since it shows same as Y plus. You can now select another wave from the Y minus menu if you needed asymmetric error bars. Click OK and then click Do It. Your graph should now look like this. In the next video, we will curve fit the histogram.